This video will show the simple installation and setup of your GTR207 low voltage sliding gate opener. Before installing, please read the user's manual as it contains important safety information. The GTR207 kit contains a DC powered sliding gate motor and a low voltage power supply with 30 meters of cable. Before you begin, you'll need the following tools. Power drill, tape measure, hammer, spirit level, 12 mm masonry drill bit, 5 to 5.8 mm drill bit, socket and spanner set, Phillips head screwdriver, clamps and a marker. Ensure that your gate is correctly installed and the gate can glide back and forth smoothly when moved by hand. First, mount the low voltage power supply unit near a 10 amp 240 volt power supply and mark out holes for drilling. Drill the holes and mount the power supply securely. Then, dig a trench about 20 centimeters deep towards the sliding gate motor. Lay the cable in the trench and cover. Alternatively, run the cable along your fence line and attach with cable clips. If required, construct a concrete footing that is no less than 450 millimeters in length 300 mm wide, with a minimum depth of 200 mm. Place the GTR207 mounting plate onto the concrete pad. To position the motor with the correct distance from the gate, accurately measure 53 to 57 mm from your gate to mounting plate. Now, using your marker, mark all eight holes around the mounting plate as shown. Remove the mounting plate and use the 12mm masonry drill bit to drill in four of the marked positions to a depth of 120mm. Blow out the concrete dust. Put the mounting plate back in position over the holes and insert the supplied expansion bolts. Firmly secure using your socket and spanner. Using your Phillips head screwdriver, remove the two screws located at each side of the motor cover and lift the cover up to reveal the motor. Place the motor onto the mounting plate. Next, affix the rubber grommet to the low voltage power cables and secure firmly onto the mounting plate. Make sure the distance to your motor cog and gate is between 20 and 25 millimeters. Use the supplied M12 bolts and washers Secure the motor to the mounting plate. Now that your motor is secured to your concrete footing, we can begin fitting the gear rack. You'll need the GTR092, which is a kit containing 4 by one meter lengths of gear rack and is bolted to your gate and aligned with the motor cog. To begin, first switch the motor into manual mode by using the key to unlock the manual release bar and check that the cog rotates freely by hand. Join two pieces of your gear rack firmly together. With the gate fully opened, place the two lengths of gear rack on top of the motor cog. Clamp your spirit level to both lengths of gear rack and use the level to ensure gear racks are parallel with each other and the gate, as shown here. Now, using your marker, Mark a point in the centre of the gear rack's mounting flange. Pre-drill these marked positions using a 5 to 5.8 mm drill bit. Use the supplied self-tapping screws and square washers to secure the first two lengths of gear rack to your gate. As these are now parallel, use the clamps and spirit level again to fit the remaining pieces of gear rack, as shown here. To set the closed position limit travel stop, move the gate 150mm back from your gate's end catch. Now, fit the part over the gear rack at the point it meets the spring limit switch on the motor. 
Set your gate forward 150 mm from the fully open position. Then set the limit travel stop. And affix with supplied screws. Before powering up the motor, make sure the gate can travel by hand in manual mode. Fully open, then close the gate, checking that the gate moves smoothly and without any resistance. If required, adjust height of gear rack to be 1 to 2 mm above the motor cog. Securely fit the outer cover of the motor. Now, position the gate in the middle. Close the manual release bar and use the key to lock. On your mounted low voltage power supply, push in the plug and tighten the blue collar to secure firmly. Plug it in and switch it on. Use the factory ped remote to test that the gate moves backwards and forwards. Now that the motor is powered, it's time to fine tune the closing and opening position of the gate. Use the remote again to open the gate. The limit travel stop will hit the spring limit switch and the gate will stop. Adjust the limit travel stop's position if required and repeat this to set the final close position of the gate. Congratulations, you have successfully installed the GTR207 low voltage sliding gate opener. Additional gate hardware products are available from Richmond Wheel and Caster Company. Visit our website to see the full range of hinges, wheels, stoppers, tracks and more. Thanks for watching.